In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PCSS2 emulator and most importantly, how to fix those annoying lags that slows down your games. I will walk you through downloading, setting it up and adjusting the settings to boot performance for a smooth gaming experience. So if you are tired of laggy gameplay, stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. So what exactly is PCSS2? Well, it's an amazing emulator that lets you play PlayStation 2 games on your computer. Well, think of it as a virtual PS2 console running on your PC, allowing you to experience your favorite PS2 titles with better graphics, smooth performance, and even customization options that the original console didn't have. PCSS2 has been around for over two decades, with updates making it possible to play nearly all PS2 games with great compatibility. You can adjust settings to upscale the game's resolution, run it in a widescreen, or even speed up in the frame rate things that makes looks and feel better than ever. Okay, so to install the PCSS2 emulator on your device, you will need the emulator itself and the BIOS. So when you look here, you can see that I have the latest version of the PCSS2 emulator, which is version 2.1.2. 35 which is this one and also i have my bios my ps2 bios here please note um in this tutorial i'm not going to show you how to get the ps2 bios i think with that one you have to find it yourself so um get both the ps2 emulator which is the pcss2 and the ps2 bios now when you look here i have something like pcss2 data and this data this data what what it does is it fixes lags i mean with this when you install this data it will allow you to you know um play any ps2 games without facing any lag so um so first of all let's let me teach you where to get the emulator first of all open your browser and then head over to the official website of the pcss2 emulator this is the official website and with this you can go with the stable release and also the nightly release for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using the nightly release so you click on it and then you choose the platform that you are going to use on so if you are a window user you go with the windows if you are a linux user you go with either the apple image or the flat pack and if you are mac os user you just have to download this one which says mac os you just have to download this one so um i have windows 11 here so i'll go with the windows i've already downloaded the zip file and this is it so first of all we will need to extract this file it's in a 7-zip format, so we will need to extract this file. And to extract this file, you can use programs like WinRAR or 7-zip. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using WinRAR. So you right-click, and then under WinRAR, you select this one, which says Extract to PCSS2. You select the third one, which is this one. Okay, so we are done with the extraction of the emulator now let's do the same thing to our bios this is our bios so we extract the bios the same thing and also with the data we will wait we are not going to extract this one so we will wait now let's open our emulator folder so this is the pcss2 that we downloaded and this is the folder so this is the game so this is the game we are going to launch launch this one okay at this welcome page um let me guide you through the installation process with this one if you like you can take in this 
but I prefer not to tick in this one. And then with the language, you select your preferable language. After that, after that, just press on next. Okay, here it says BIOS, BIOS directory. Here it says BIOS directory. What this simply means is that we need to select the folder that contains our BIOS. So um, remember that we extracted the BIOS folder. Just press on this one, which says browse, and then locate the extracted BIOS folder. So this 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 is the BIOS folder that we extracted. You select the BIOS folder, and then you select this one, which says select folder. Here you can see like here your BIOS will appear here. So you need to select one which you prefer. So with this one, I'll go with this one, which I'll go with the Europe and then 2004, I'll go with this one. And then after selecting it, just press on this next thing over here. Okay. Here it is game directories and what and what this simply means is that we will need to add the folder that contains our PS2 games and to do that press on add folder and then locate the folder that contains your PS2 ROM files or PS2 games. After selecting the folder, you just have to select on select folder, this one. Okay, here it says, would you like to scan the directory, blah, blah, blah. Just press on yes. After that, you should see your directory here. As you can see, the games are located on drive E and then PS2 and then inside ROM folder so after you've done adding your game folder just press on next here it says con controller type so if your controller is connected you should see something like dualshock over here so we will use the dualshock and then under 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 the dualshock you, you should see something like automatic mapping just press on it and then here you should see your controller inputs. I use Xbox 360, so it will come as X input controller. So you should see your controller inputs over here. Then you select your controller inputs, and then you select on this one, which says next, and then select on finish. Okay, here I have one game inside my folder which is the god of War 2 so it's it appears like this and to customize this you can simply press on this thing and then you can adjust the size to your preferable okay so here we are done with the setting up of the emulator and what's left next is some settings to boost your gaming performance and to do that just press on this settings icon over here and then select graphics select this one which says graphics and then and then under the graphics here the renderer you can leave it to default or you can go with it either direct 3d 11 or direct x 12 can leave it to automatic default or you can go with between this this three the direct 3d 11 direct 3d 12 and Vulkan but I prefer using the direct 3d 11 and the adapter if you have external GPU and you click on this you should see your external GPU over here so if you have GTS 1060, 1070, 1080, or RTS 3060 and above, you should see it here, and then you select that one. 
but my computer over here doesn't have external gpu so i can only see the cpu graphics which is intel hd graphics 530 which is this one so i will select that one and then under the display with the aspect ratio i will choose widescreen which is 16 by 9 and then under the rendering with the internal resolution you can choose between 1.5 natives and 1.75 native if you have a low-end device but if your pc is capable of handling the 720 then you can go with the 720p which is this one but i recommend you guys on choosing 1.5 native which is this one so um i think we are done over here so with this 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 is the normal settings for the pcss2 emulator so we are going to test out some games and see if it's okay then we take it like that and if it is not i have another way remember we have the pcss2 data over here so we will use this one so let's test test out the some games and see how it performs so i have the god of War over here Okay, so I have the God of War right here. Now let me test out and see the performance. Okay, so it goes slow upon the settings that we did. The game is running slow the game is running slow so here we need to apply the second method which is the data file that we downloaded so we are going to apply the black fix data so let's let's do that that method now going slow so let's let's apply the lag face data okay so to apply the data that we downloaded to fix lags so this is the data so what we are going to do now is we are going to extract this this data file let's extract it the same as how we did the first one okay so we now have the data file which is this one so we open it and then inside we can see something like BIOS, then blah, blah, and then some folders. Just copy all these folders. Just copy, copy all. After selecting all, right click, and then you copy all. And then head over to your documents, which is this one. Your documents. And then open your PCSS2 folder. So it will be documents. And then pcss2 folder you go documents and then you select your pcss2 folder which is this folder over here and then you paste in the folders that you copied from the data file that we downloaded paste in select on replace all the files in destination okay we are done with the pasting of the folder what we are going to do now is we will need to launch the emulator. This is our emulator. So we will relaunch the emulator again. And then when you press on the game, you should see something like 
PCSS2 require a PS2 BIOS, blah, blah, blah. Wait, don't panic. This happened because we pasted a data file. So I'm going to show you how to fix this error. So just press on OK here and then come to the settings. And then under the BIOS, this side, choose the BIOS. And then here we have to reselect the BIOS again. So you press browse and then you locate the folder that contains your BIOS file. So here I press on browse and then locate the folder that contains my BIOS file, which is this one. And then select on select folder then you choose one you choose one you choose your bios then you press on close okay so if you are not seeing your games you will need to re-add your game path again to do that just press on settings and then go go to game list and then you need to re-add the folder that contains your games okay so now we are done applying the data now let's see now let's see the performance we will get after applying the data file let's relaunch the game again and then remember i save a state so i will just load the state okay okay it's updated so okay so i just switched my screen recorder to gaming mode and this is the performance after we set up the data file so please enjoy a little gameplay about that and this is the performance you are going to get when you set up the data file i mean when you set up i mean when you set it up correctly so please enjoy a little gameplay of this game. So guys, that's all for the setting up the PCSS2 emulator. I hope you really like the video. Please, if you do, please consider subscribing to my channel. Because you subscribing to the channel really encourage me to do more videos like this. See you next time.